Okay, uh, welcome to 2013-01-07, July 1st, uh, 2013, of course, and uh, Canada Day, happy Canada Day. And uh, by the looks of the terminal here, I'm, I'm going to install Gen 2, 64-bit version in Oracle VirtualBox. So at the bottom, we have live CD with a flashing cursor, so I'll just clear the screen. And uh, make sure I spell clear properly. A lot of this I'm trying to memorize, um, but uh, I might have to pause and think for a minute. <laughs> there's a lot, okay? There's a, a heck of a lot to installing Gen 2, uh, even over Arch Linux, which is similar in the beginning to Arch Linux. So, first of all, we'll just do our usual uh, routine. We'll ping google.com to make sure that the virtual adapt yeah so we can see that it's been picked up so press control C okay uh, we're gonna use CF disk again if you installed Arch Linux you'll know this CF disk is to create our uh, partitions on our virtual hard drive and we don't have to specify a device so we'll just press enter and you see here we have approximately 40 gigabytes of free space so we'll just hit at the bottom where it says new just press enter primary and I'll give it approximately 20 gigabytes so 20 and three zeros one two three enter beginning and make that bootable arrow down one new primary is fine in this case because we're only using three and this will be our swap I'm gonna give it two gigs or two zero four eight approximately and I'm gonna throw out that at the end so arrow key down one and we uh, tab over not tab, sorry, arrow key over to where it says type. 82 is the file system we want, so we press enter, and now it's a swap partition. Arrow key up one more, new, and whatever's left, and press enter. So now we have th there's three. You can make more, this is just an example. So anyway, we go over, arrow key over to right, type in the word yes, and then press enter. And press Q to quit. And we can get an idea of our partition layout if you type in F disk dash L. You see there. So we're going to make a file system. So it's MKFS make file system dot and it's extension four we're going to use. And on the first DEV SDA one is going to be that. So you press enter. And we'll do the same thing. I'll put, um, arrow key up once or twice, depending on uh, how many times you have to for uh, what you've typed in. And MK file system extension four, and we're going to use um, SDA three. So just change that last one to a three. Now uh, for uh, SDA two, that's our swap. So MK swap make swap while on that device SDA2 and you can put in end end turn it on swap on on that same device okay hit enter and now we're going to mount uh, the two partitions we've already mounted the swap basically it's on so uh, mount and DEBS SDA1 to slash MNT slash Gen 2 1 and Gen 2. Very important. Make sure you have slash MNT slash Gen 2. Okay, and then inside that we're going to make uh, MKD DIR, make a directory on MNT Gen 2 and that's going to be our inside there is home so we're going to mount our SDA3 on that so let's mount db SDA3 on mnt slash gen2 slash home okay everything's mounted so all we do is just change directory to the uh, gen2 uh, mounted partition so change directory slash mnt 
slash G E N T O O and clear and I'll ask to list out what's there. We have home, lost and found. Now we're gonna download a couple of packages. Um this is the way you do things in Gen 2. Usually there's probably different ways, but this is following the handbook. So we're gonna use links, L I N K S, uh text based web browser and uh, you have to type in the address for anything you do in links so it's in this case we're going to go to gen2 so www.gen2.org slash main slash en and then finally mirror mirrors rs oh boy dot xml you get a welcome message and what's going on here uh, looks like the mirrors are down nice okay there they are okay so we'll just hit mirrors and as I, all I'm doing is just pressing the arrow key up and down and just holding it down to go to navigate quickly so we're gonna choose a mirror close and choose one that's close to you. There's USA and it just goes down and continues. I'll choose an HTTP server and we want to go down to releases and then arrow down to AMD 64 right at the bottom current stage 3 and a, we want uh, stage 3 AMD 60 AMD 64 uh, the tar file tar.bzz whatever 2. Press enter save and enter and give it a couple of minutes to download all right once the download finishes that uh, dialog box closes so we're going to go back um navigate backwards in my case it's the left arrow key um if you're depending on what situation it might be different for you so go back and back one more and down to where it says snapshots and you press enter and down to current and there's a lot of them as you can see here and I'll just page down and arrow down to to get portage latest TA tar BZ2 so you press enter again and of course same thing save and default location is fine and press enter for OK and give that a couple of seconds or it's not as big to download okay so that's finished so we're done with links so we press Q on our keyboard to quit and enter for yes and we can list out what's in the gen 2 now we can see that we have the uh, two archive files here so we have to extract them the first one we want to extract is uh, stage 3 so that's just tar tar and then a space and these switches X V J um, P, F, another space, and then stage. If you start typing the word stage, like STA or STAG, and press tab, uh, it will complete it for you. So you don't have to type in the whole thing. And in this case, we don't have to extract it to an, a different directory, so it's the same directory. Press enter, and give that some time as well um, to extract. Okay, as you can see, it's finished, so clear screen. And do an LS now. And you see we have our base uh, Linux layout. So obviously the next thing is to extract the uh, portage tree, which is uh, basically the whole concept of uh, one, a, a huge concept of Gen 2. So T A, oops, I gotta make sure I'm in there. T A R X V J P F portage. Start again, like say port. Now we do have to specify a directory. So you notice the blinking cursor has a space. So make sure there's a space there. And it's a dash and a capital C. Another space, USR. And right after USR, a slash. And again, press enter to extract and give it some time. Now that portage is extracted, um, you can take a look. I guess uh, it's, so we'll do it.
ls of the full path, so slash mnt slash gen2 slash usr slash pour and tab completion comes in handy there and press enter and there we go there's our portage with that we can now go and edit our make config file now this is virtual box so there's not a lot you can really specify but there is optionally a couple of things you can do so it's uh we're going to use nano and the full path again mnt slash gen2 slash um usr not usr at etsy this time sorry uh, portage and make dot c o n f okay this is our make config file and uh, we have some variables already specified basically um, not much you can, like I said in VirtualBox you can do but if you're installing this on uh, your machine uh, read up about it on the Gen2 handbook so CF flags um, from what I've been messing around with uh, this seems to be it doesn't complain or anything it seems to work is M-A-R-C-H uh, multi-architecture I think equals in my case is an AMD family 10 that's the way it sees it it's been uh, for Gen 2 and it's a uh, I meant to say it's a uh, six core AMD uh, Phantom 2 six core and under the last where it says use equals bind in quotes I'm gonna make a uh, another entry make ops equals in and then a quote dash J now that J uh, is to specify the cores you have or CPUs so if you have one CPU it'd be plus one so it'd be dash J2 in my case I gave this six six cores in the virtual machine so it'd be dash seven the plus one and nano control X and press Y and then press enter to save that all right, um, we're going to use that same file. So I'm going to arrow key up to where we had that. And we're not going to use nano, but we are going to output something. Uh, it's called mirror select. And that's to get uh, mirrors to download your packages that are close to you. So mirror select and a dash I and a dash O. And then uh, two arrows pointing to that directory, and then press enter. And it says downloading a list of mirrors. And then you just uh, page down or use your arrow key to find your uh, a mirror close. Now there's uh, HTTP, FTTP um, to choose from in this case. So I'm going to use HTTP. So I'll highlight that with a space bar. Now it has a star and press enter for OK. And it throws us back to the command prompt way at the bottom there. So I'll clear the screen. Same thing. I'm going to arrow up. And I'm just going to add uh, one switch, dash R. So make sure you space that out. And then again. And arrow key down. And R sync. For that and press enter and we're back to the command prompt 